Last time, I was making Thai tofu balls for my husband's studio production project because he is what keeps me cooking. I took on a challenge, making the meatball vegetarian friendly and flavor friendly too. What are meatballs without spaghetti? It's like a kitchen without Macy's cookware. Speaking of which, I received this from my local Macy's in downtown Walla Walla. These rice noodles that we're going to be using are long and stringy. We're going to peel our carrot the lengthwise so it ends up looking like the noodles. So go ahead and we can add that to our pan. Now, we're going to cut up the onions in a similar fashion so they're long in long strands too. Now we're going to add some cabbage and some mushrooms and we're going to add some fresh garlic. If you like a lot of curry powder, add a lot of curry powder. If you don't like too much curry powder, add just a dash. Also, be sure to add some salt. Then you're going to put some cilantro in. And you're just going to saute the veggies. It's healthier to boil the noodles than to deep fry them because it cuts back on oil. So, after you drain the noodles, put them in your non-stick frying pan along with the veggies. You're also going to add some salt to these. And just a little pinch of basil. And you're going to stir these together. So now you're just going to serve it up. You're going to add the Thai tofu meatballs that we made in our last episode. You have yourself some genuine Thai cuisine without having to go all the way to Thailand. From my Walla Walla University studio kitchen to yours, Macy's keeps it cooking.